Hello, my fast finger friends. This will be case number nine, 1,004 words on the subject of explosion at 220 words per minute. Ready? Let's write. Question, you are one of the plaintiffs in this action? Answer, I am what? Question, are you one of the plaintiffs in this action? Answer, that is right, I am. Question, and where were you born? Answer, I was born in Marion, Iowa. Question, how old were you when you moved to Star County? Answer, I was nine years old. Question, where, and where do you live now? Answer, I live on Washington and Collins Avenue. Question, when did you begin working at oil stations in Star County? Answer, that was three years ago. Question, and have you worked in and about oil stations since that time? Answer, with the exception of a couple of months. Question, I see. Has most of that time been spent working for Loeffler Company? Answer, that is right. I have been with them for all but three months of that time. Question, when did you go out to this station that was involved in the explosion? Answer, exactly two years ago today. Question, and at that time you went to work for what man? Answer, Mr. Blackman was in charge. Question, then did there come a time when you took this station over yourself on your own? Answer, the following spring, March. Question, in March you took over the station to operate it? Answer, that's right. Question, can you tell us who owns the land there? Answer, Mr. Blackman. Question, and does Mr. Blackman lease this land to anyone? Answer, does what? Question, does Mr. Blackman lease this land to anyone? Answer, the land the station is on, I suppose, is in my lease. I imagine it is. Question, who owns the equipment out there at the station? Answer, the Loeffler Company. Question, I show you plaintiff's exhibit seven. Is that your signature? Answer, it is. Question, and is that the signature of Mr. Newberry, representative of Loeffler Company? Answer, that is right. Question, what would you call that exhibit? Answer, that is called a customer's equipment lease. Question, how much do you pay the Loeffler Company a year for the lease of that equipment? Answer, I don't know as I pay nothing. Question, what does it say on the equipment lease? Answer, oh, I know what you mean. It's one of those legal-like documents, one of those dollar a year leases. I pay a dollar on the lease, that is all. I paid it not so very long ago. Question, and the original lease has been continued and renewed and kept in effect ever since you took over? Answer, that's right. Question, showing you plaintiff with exhibit six, is that your signature? Answer, that is my signature. Question, and the other one is the signature of Mr. Newberry of the Loeffler Company? Answer, that is his signature. Question, is this agreement known as a reseller's contract? Answer, that is right. Question, do you know if this contract is in force and effect at the present time? Answer, I do. It is now in effect. Question, now I will show you an agreement. This is plaintiff with exhibit nine. Is that your signature on there? Answer, yes. Question, and is the other one that of Mr. Blackman? Answer, correct. Question, do you know if this is a form that was prepared by the Loeffler Company? Answer, that is right. Question, did you purchase petroleum products at only at the station? Answer, that is right. Question, when you made your checks out to pay for the gas and oil that you purchased. Tell the jury who you made the checks payable to. Answer lock the company question. In other words, if you were to purchase 800 or 600 gallons of gas, you would make your check out to lock the company. Answer lock the company question. Are the underground tanks that are in question and the other equipment of the station all owned by Loeffler? Answer that is correct question. There are signs at the station that have been put up. Are there? Answer, yes. Advertising signs, yes. Question, who owns those signs? Answer, the company. Question, do you mean Loeffler Company? Answer, yes. Question, any other kind of advertising? Answer, yes. Some posters. Question, where did you get the material from? Answer, mail. Question, from where? Answer, from the home office. Question, I'm showing you plaintiff's exhibit 10. Is that an aid which was sent to you from their home office? Answer, that came just recently, about a month ago. Question, what do you do with the various advertising that is sent to you? Answer, I put them up. Some on the build outside of the building and some on the inside on the wall. Question, do you handle any tires at the station? Answer, I handle tires, but I don't handle them at the station where the explosion was. I sell them at another station. Question, who sends you those tires? Answer, same company, Loeffler Company. Question, do you handle accessories? Answer, I do. Question, who sent you spark plugs if you have them? Answer, yes, spark plugs. I can't remember that man's name that used to be there. He was the boatman when I got them. Question, do you ever or have you ever strike that? Have you ever been requested to attend sales meetings for the company, meetings for their representatives? Answer, yes, I am asked to. Question, do you know who owns the air compressor that was in that building before the explosion? Answer, who owns the compressor? I don't really know if it is owned or belongs to Blackman or the company. I don't know which of them owns it. Question, I noticed the customer's equipment lease. They have one air compressor. And do you or did you have one compressor? Answer, that is right. One question, is that an air automatic compressor? Answer, right automatic question in other words it is one that goes on and off without anything being done by you to control in answer correct question will you state to the jury whether or not you at any time place orders to have the tanks filled answer a number of times question will you tell the court and jury as to whether or not you place an order for the Loeffler products on that date in question 
Answer, yes, I did. Question, and when you placed your, the order, did you call the phone number that is listed in the telephone book under the name of Loeffler Company? Answer, I called Mr. Roy. I think it was, was his station that I, I called. Question, is the number that you called the number that you presently call when you want to place an order? Answer, that is right. Question, did you place an order on the day in question, the day of the explosion? Answer, yes, I did. Question, do you recall what you ordered? Answer, yes, I ordered 800 gallons of high test and 600 gallons of regular. I hope I dictated that well. If I didn't, please put something in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to do it over for you. Thank you for watching.